the Nigerian Extractive Industries Transparency International Initiative says it will drag the 51 companies indebted to the federal government in taxes, royalties and rents before anti-corruption agencies. NATI issued the threat at a one-day workshop to build the capacity of civil society groups to strengthen governance and accountability in the oil and gas sector. TBC News correspondent Jokiali Sahar reports. The past few years, NAITI has indicted many companies for failing to remit necessary taxes, rents, and royalties to government coffers. In its 2019 report, the agency traced 2.6 trillion naira in debt to 77 companies, forcing a probe by the National Assembly. So far, about 16 of the companies have cleared their debt, bringing the number down to 51. Welcome a few dignitaries. This is another in the series of the engagements of the growth initiatives for fiscal transparency. Its target is to eliminate the opacity in the oil and gas sector. Naiti says it will not hesitate to drag herring companies to EFCC and the ICPC. The government major challenge at the moment as well all aware is on revenue to fund annual budgets, revenue to address debt burden, and revenue to also reduce budget deficits. For the parliament, which has seen it all through regular engagements, many companies take undue advantage of the lacuna in some of the nation's laws to defraud the country. We took up a company in Port Harcourt. They invaded the final status instrument. I haven't exhausted the five years, the first three years and the two years thereafter. They went again to take five years. For 10 years, they were operating panel status. We took them up. The training exercise renews call for the passage of the bill aiming to amend the Fiscal Responsibility Act to stop corruption before it happens. The issue of amendment of Fiscal Responsibility Act has been pending in the 7th Assembly, in the 8th Assembly, it's still pending in the 9th Assembly. The is abundantly blessed with rich natural resources, petroleum, mineral resources, and all of that. So why are we in this paradox? There's so much, but we don't have just enough. That's why we're getting people to come together and engage. The Growth Initiatives for Fiscal Transparency, GIFT, is a one-year project to interrogate the public finance management space and policy environment to ensure transparency and accountability in the oil and gas sector, Jokia TVC News, Abuja.